It comes in a shipment in the middle of the night when nobody's here, and it has a sticker on the front, don't open until a certain date. Um, and then finally that day comes, and it's like Christmas, but a couple months early. Hello and welcome to Pike Place Starbucks. We have the honor and privilege today of introducing and tasting for the very first time Christmas Blend Vintage 2015. That sweetness, that spice, that dark roasty flavor. 31st year of Christmas Blend. This is a coffee that's very personal for me. I was involved in year one. This year, I think what's different about Christmas Blend is the aged component really shows through in the cup. Coffee is an agricultural product, and so just like wine, the crop will change from year to year. It has always been uh, steeped in a blend of light and lively Latin American coffees. We have Asia Pacific coffees in there because they're sturdier, richer, more robust flavors. And then, you know, that secret element that's not very secret anymore is the aged Sumatra component. That process, that three to five years minimum of of the coffee literally sitting in a warehouse in that kind of hot, humid climate helps take it along that process. You take a, a, a spectacular aged Bordeaux wine um, and aged Sumatra, you will taste a thread of that earthiness. What's specifically different this year is we actually roast what we call a base, and then we will actually roast this individual coffee on a completely different curve to a completely different color and blend it back in. The flavors of Christmas Blend are unique because they take elements from sweetness and from savory, and we can pair it with our dinner or we can have it with our great dessert. Cheers! I thought this year's Christmas Blend was amazing. It had a sweetness to it. It's got a nuttiness that I like, and it's got a spiciness, an earthiness. It's got lots of cedar to it. Everyone has an experience with this coffee. They can tell you where they were when they first had it, the celebration they took it to. For me, it was sort of that first time I was like, this is what good coffee is. So when I think about Christmas when 2016 or 2017, part of the excitement is we don't really truly know just exactly what's going to be in the cup there because every year is, is just a little different. And I think that's part of the magic of, of the Christmas blend.